the next few minutes, we will be giving you a brief introduction to development using the Activity UI Builder from BP3. I'm Chadwick Jones. And I'm Francis Mom. We completed this project over the course of our internship at BP3 during the summer of 2013. All right, to start off, you'll need an activity process definition, which can be created by the drag and drop activity eclipse plugin, which you can find information about on the activity website. Here we see the XML gen generated from that plugin for our sample process definition, which implements a basic vacation request approval process. This XML defines the system and user tasks, documentation, and process flow. The sample process definition used in this video is included in the GitHub project for the UI Builder, which we'll provide a link to. So now to the actual development. First, we'll need to log in. Um, we're going to use the default administrator for now, which is Kermit. Um, here you can see our basic developer portal, which gives the basic functionality of uploading processes, completing tasks, and building and binding data to UI forms. We'll upload the process definition for our process in here. All right, so now as you can see on the processes page, um, the flow for the process is displayed um, in here. So as you can see here, we have an initiate request user task, a handle request task for the manager, and an adjust request task. So to go ahead and build a UI for these tasks, we'll go to the UI Builder tab. So we'll start with the initiate request task. We'll want a uh, documentation output component uh, so that we can display whatever was defined as documentation um, inside of the process definition. Um, we'll also want a date selector so that the uh, user can say which day they're wanting to start their vacation. Also an integer selector so they can say how many days that they are going to be gone. And a text area so they can give what reason for their vacation. Um, now, so in this way we can uh, have the user specify um, all sorts of details about their vacation. Also, as a developer, you can pretty easily create your own custom components, which we can show you how to do in another video. All right, so as you can see here, um, all of the HTML for this form has been rendered. We're gonna change the form name up at the top so that it has some sort of title. Alright, and so here's the rendered HTML for this. So we're going to go down here and save this form. So you can just type in what the name of it's going to be. So as you can see here, um, we've, I mean, we've already created this before, so it'll ask you if you want to overwrite it. We're going to go ahead and overwrite it. Alright, so now that we have everything, um, we're going to go ahead to the data binding page, which we see here. Um, in here, we'll select the process that we uploaded. And then the task that we're wanting, and then the form we just created for that task. All right, it'll show up on the right there, um, allowing us to select which variable corresponds to each of these components. All right, so now that we've got that, we can save it, and that'll store the bindings separately of the form, allowing for reuse of the forms if needed. Now to see what this looks like when it's run, check out our next video, the end user overview. Thank you. Thank you.